So Noah, recently you've been uh, carrying around this uh, the briefcase. Uh, can you give us any insight? What's uh, what's in the what's in the bag? Something special. Something special. You guys will find out at USA. And so you uh, you went to the premiere yesterday for, for Sprint. Uh, could you share with the public? You know what was what can we expect when we see the uh, the new docu series coming out here? Depends. How much you want me to spoil? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just give, give maybe uh, your favorite part uh, when you were watching. I would say there was a part with Dennis and Jerry that I'm not gonna like give me goosebumps. And I was like, ooh, I need to get out of track right now and run. And uh, I really liked that moment. I felt it encapsulated kind of everything that was going on in a perfect, a perfect uh, preview to what was gonna happen for people who hadn't seen World Championships. That would make them be like, oh man, I gotta get more of this. but maybe not anymore. Might humanize my competitors a little too much. And that might not be the best thing going in with the kill be killed mentality. What anime are you watching right now? Right now, I'm on the latest season of How I Got Reincarnated as a song. What's the best advice you've ever been given? <laughs> Don't grow up as a trap. <laughs> Looking at tomorrow's race, I guess, what do you want to get out of it before the trials? I know you put it out there, I guess, responding to Kenny as, like, world lead. Are you looking at that, or is it... Oh, no, yeah. I mean, world lead, definitely, is the goal. Anything on top of that is icing on the cake. But, I mean, I'm also looking at Tyson's facility record, you know, 1958. I feel it just kind of needs to go. And I've been close at it um, back in 2022. I think I ran like 61 or 62 back then, and I was like, yeah, I should have broke that record then. But, no, I, I, I feel that it's definitely time for it to go, especially after coming off of a 95 performance, 100. Like, yeah, I'm in shape. I'm seeing all the numbers that prove that it's time to get back in the world. Feels a little windy, though, right? Right now it does, but, you know, yesterday we were out here, and it was soft breeze. It was definitely legal wind. Today is not legal wind. But so every day is different. So let's, let's talk about that 985. What were your impressions? I know you think there's a fast gun there. Like, what did you think of Oblique and like kind of the reaction from the Jamaicans? I think that the race as a whole was really good. You know, besides the gun, <laughs> but the race itself was good. I, yeah, I feel like there might have been like one or two things that I would have fixed. Maybe just getting more out of the first 10 meter segment, the first zero to 10. Uh, but other than that, I was seeing like everything that I was seeing back at World Championships. And I was like, okay, wow. It's very satisfying. It's very confident to be here so early in the season, especially since last year. I didn't see 9 8 to get to Worlds. Something you've talked about is wanting to see more track and field athletes be able to survive financially. Do you feel like that's been a problem with the past few years with the rate of inflation? Do you think that's a way to keep you safe? Do you think that's a way to keep you safe? I'm not an economics major. <laughs> much we can do when we're just looked at as contractors and not employees. You know, we don't got benefits out here. The Ultimate Championship just got announced from World Athletics. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking forward to with, with that or is there anything, uh, you know, you as an athlete that gets you excited to see if hey, there's going to be another major type of championship uh, that's right from the point I think the two best things that I took out of it was, one, the money looks, it looks good, <laughs> yeah, especially to get the best to show up, and two, I think we've all been waiting for a track meet where we don't have to rely on everybody gets a chance. You know, we're looking to see the best of the best go up against each other, no matter what country you're from, no matter you know, who you are. Like, we want to see the very best, the world leads going in, run it out. We don't want to see you know half the top ten in the world get DQ'd or I mean put out of the contention because they can only take top three in the U.S. and top three in Jamaica. Like we want to see everybody there. What if success? In general, um, I'd say anytime that I see progress or anytime that I try. Now, I don't like the idea of not trying. 
Now, there's too many times where people will not do something just because they are told, oh, you people probably won't go for that, or, you know, it's probably going to be a no. Well, probably a no is not a no. And I'd be very upset with myself if I didn't try it. dominance on the gold medal stand and on the podium as a whole. Uh, we've been you know, saying that we've been grabbing the medals that we're supposed to and grabbing medals on top of that. So it's very reassuring and then of course coming off of 2022 we were just sweeping everything and gosh that, that got to make you feel good as we go into the Olympics and you know I, I don't think we're losing anybody to that if anything we're gaining. It's been a little while since uh, the U.S. has won the Olympics four by one. Uh, what do you think it's going to take for us to be able to bring home gold this, uh, this performance? Truly, after running at World Relays, it's, it's no longer about speed. That's what I've really come down to. It's how you pass the baton and the chemistry that you have between everybody. Now, there was an unspoken bond that we somehow you know, created when we were at World Relays this year. I don't know how we all just ended up on the same wavelength, but we were. And if I had an idea, I ran it by Kyrie, and he was like, bro, I've been feeling the same thing. If, you know, Courtney had an idea with Kenny, it was like, bro, I've been feeling the same way. We did it and we executed and every time we made an adjustment, it got better and better. It's just like, hey, it, it's chemistry. It's not about the fastest guys, it's chemistry. What do you think of the team USA and the team USA this year? I'm going to win, so we'll see. What does your spiritual preparation look like for these Olympic games? Spiritual? Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever you wish. Um, I'd say that personally, I've been feeling, uh, I don't know, that's a discussion for me and my therapist. <laughs> Let's just say I'll give you the answer once I figure it out. You've been involved in a lot of different docu-series. You had your own one uh, on title, as well as now we have Sprint. Uh, can we foresee a second season for your personal uh, documentary coming out? And so, uh, uh, we decided not to. It's just too, too much time. Now, I loved what we weren't able to do, but one, it took a lot of time, especially since I was doing Netflix and my own. And then the second one, I had to raise that money myself. And that's hard to keep doing every year and being like, okay, where are we going to get the money this time? Uh, especially when we knew that Netflix was going to do season two. You know, like, hey, we believe that they're going to do a good job. Let's lean into what they're doing, give them a little more of insight of, hey, this is what we're going to be, this is what we're going to be doing. At. So give them more of like, hey, let's turn this into no Lyle show, unhandedly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then it was really hard to get domestic rights outside of the U.S. Uh, we had, were pushing really hard to get it to everybody in the world. Like there was just a lot of hoops to jump through. Not everybody is willing to play ball. I usually play like those numbers because that those are you know, you know, those are numbers. Everybody can see that and know the and see how it got there. So that's what used to mean. Feelings are, you know, words that are just uh, theories or opinions. People are just like, yeah, I don't understand. So I try to use it as a universal question. Last question.